Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to run R code in Python. Uh, so I'll just go directly to the requirements. So first of all, you will need to install R on your machine. Uh, uh, I've got Windows, so I'm going to install it. Uh, I've already downloaded R version 3.4.1 for Windows. And the next thing I will need is Python 2.7 to 3.4, 3.5 or 3.6. Then I'm going to install download uh, uh, rpy2 pip package for Windows. Uh, I've got this uh, uh, from this website. Uh, this is a pre-compiled uh, rpy2 package. Uh, for me, I've got Python 3.5, so I have downloaded this particular version, which is 2.8.6 uh, Python 3.5 version for 64-bit Windows. And for, for Linux, you don't need to download this. Um, so my configuration is R 3.4.1, Python 3.5, which comes with Anaconda 3, version 4.2.0 for Windows 64-bit. So installation instructions, you need to install R, then you will install Anaconda, and then you will edit environment variables on Windows. You, you need to do this step on Windows, uh, you can uh, ignore this on uh, Linux because uh, these environment variables are set when you install R. Uh, so who, those who are not familiar with how to add, to add these environmental variables, so just press the start button and then uh, click on this uh, button to edit the environmental variables. So you will just get to click on uh, this uh, particular button environment variables and then click on path edit and add the path where r is installed on my machine here the, the r is installed in this directory program files are r version 3.4.1 so i've just added it um, next uh, i'm going to click on new and then add r and scroll home and add path to the main r folder and then i'm also going to add uh, r underscore user and click on new and then variable name will be r underscore user and then variable value will be uh, my windows username so once i've done the this we can go to we can just open command window as admin or in, on Linux, we can uh, use terminal as sudo. So I will open the command window as administrator and go to the folder where rpy2 package has been downloaded and uh, here I'm going to create a virtual environment for this particular part. So you can create a virtual environment or you can just do part. Um, and Python equal to 3.5. Activate uh, this virtual environment. And now I'm going to install RPy2. On Linux, you can just do pip install RPy2 and it will install. You don't need to download the, the pip package. So once it's installed, uh, you can just run the Python command and then let me copy this. Uh, Be able to run now all the commands here. You see, uh, I do not have any problem uh, running these commands. um yeah that's that's all uh, so for further information or further help you can just go to the rpy2 webpage and 
follow the instructions uh, for how to use this package uh, for how to use R uh, in Python. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, just hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.